Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for deciding to watch this video. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so down below and join in on the fun. If you're not new here, you might be able to see that where I'm filming today is a bit different to where I usually film. So we're currently in my bedroom. <laughs> today I'm hoping I can go through my wardrobe, do like a little what's in my wardrobe, clear out, get rid of stuff that I really don't need in there because I don't have a lot of space and I'm starting to run out of room and whenever I buy new clothes, Reese tells me off because there's no room in there. So I thought today I'd do two birds one stone by one doing some housework to clear out my wardrobe and two also just make a video out of it because this might motivate you to do a clear out of your belongings that you know that you just don't need and that you can donate to someone who really does need them and would appreciate them and love them more than you can. So obviously this isn't going to be everything I own because some stuff's in the wash but obviously that stuff I wear all the time hence why it's in the wash so I'm not too worried about that it's just more the stuff that's behind here that you can see that just does not need to be there. I'll give you a quick rundown of what there is I'll show you what we're dealing with and then we'll have to get started because I don't know how long this video is going to be. So hopefully it's not going to be too long. Let's get right on into the video. So this is what we are currently dealing with. So Reese's side is over here, so I'm not going to bother doing over there. So we pretty much down here have a bunch of my socks, onesie, got a Bunnings hat. <laughs> And a whole lot of shoes that I really do need to go through because I really don't think I need all of them. But we've also got a bunch of like some pajamas, beanies, scarves, and then some workout gear, bikinis, whatnot in there. I'm trying to think about the best way to tackle this because obviously I don't want to go through each individual piece of clothing because that would go for a ridiculous long amount of time. But I'm thinking maybe if I just time lapse a couple of things, then it won't be as long. But I'll also talk through little bits and pieces that I do have. So starting with the pajamas, I cannot get rid of these shorts. I've even got more Peter Alexander pajamas. I never buy them. They're always gifts that are given to me. But I'm definitely going to keep those especially coming up to summer. So stuff like this, they are like, they're like pajama leggings. Except I found whenever I've tried to wear them to bed, I only like things that are very tight fitting when I'm trying to sleep. It either needs to be floppy or I have to wear shorts. I think I'm going to have to put these in the donate pile. I've got this thing. It's like a summer dressing gown, you could kind of say. But I just don't see myself wearing this. Like I think it's really cute. It's really obvious. It's obviously really nice and silky and soft. But it's just been sitting in my cupboard for I don't even know how long. I think I've had this for a couple of years now and I just don't wear it. I'm thinking this will go in the donut pile too. Okay, so that was actually all for the pajamas. I don't really have that many. So moving on to the beanies and the scarves. In the last couple of years, I have been buying these MND beanies that you get every year. I just love these and you pretty much guarantee to wear this down to the shops and have at least 10 other people wearing the same thing matching you. I would never get rid of these so they are definitely staying. I've actually got a bunch of different beanies. I don't know why I've got so many. I really need to clear some of these out I think. So this one is incredibly cute. I cannot get rid of this. It's a penguin. How can you not have this? I'm not getting rid of that. That is the cutest thing. These next two ones are pretty similar to the reasons why I've been buying the MND beanies. These are the two beanies I've currently got for Carrie's beanies for brain cancer. Obviously I haven't worn these in quite a while because I kind of went through a phase of just not wearing beanies for some reason. I would never ever get rid of these and for as long as they're going to be putting out beanies for this reason I'll continue to be buying them. The final beanie I have is this one right here. I actually got this when Reese and I went to a snow shop because we bought like snowboarding gear years back before COVID hit because we were planning to be able to go to the snow a lot but then obviously COVID stuffed that up. <laughs> Look, I think it is a really cute beanie, not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know if I want to get rid of it because I like it. You know what, I'm gonna keep it. Now in terms of scarves, I actually only have two. I've only got this plain black one and then this white and black one that I got from Kmart. I might get rid of this black one because it's very small. I think I only have this because I used to wear it at school. So I definitely do not need that anymore. I'll definitely be keeping this one because I think it's just really cute. These are the belts I've got. I've only got four, except I really just don't wear all of them. I've got this one, which I do wear quite a lot. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that. I've got one that's in a smart, smartly, slightly smaller shape. So I do like that one. I don't wear it as much anymore. This one is from ASOS, except I just don't reach for it. I don't know if I've ever actually worn this belt. So I'm definitely going to be donating this one. And the last one is a brown belt. The reason I'm going to keep this is because it's the only brown belt I've got and I do quite like that it's a bigger buckle. So I think that's going to stay in the keep pile. 
I've also got a few bags sitting in here as well. The first one is this Mimco bag. It is very loved and worn. I use it every time I go out into the city or to an event or whatever it is. The last bag I have is this tiny little black one. I don't even know where it's from, I think. Now, I don't know where this was from, but my sister had given it to me because she wasn't using it. And I haven't used it that much, but I still think it's quite cute. So I'm going to keep it. Alrighty, so moving on to the bikini slash like workout bra tops. I've got them all on the floor here with me and I thought it'd be easier just to sort it all out on the floor. These are shorts. I'm not quite sure why they in this bit. Except I don't even know the last time I wore these. So I'm going to donate these. There's a few little bits of pieces of little workout outfits that I do want to keep. So I'm just going to call this a sort of interpiles of keep and not keep I think. So I've decided I'm going to be getting rid of this bunch. I'll quickly show you what I am keeping. So I'm just keeping, it's like a black tube top that you can kind of put underneath things in case, you know, you don't want someone to see what you're wearing underneath your clothes. I've also got a pair of bike shorts because if I'm wearing a skirt or a dress when I'm going out somewhere, I'm going to be dancing. There's no way I'm going to risk some creepy person trying to look up my skirt. So I have kept some workout outfits as well and a few workout bras. And I've also got a few bikinis that I'm keeping. So I've got these sea foley bikinis. I've got this plain black one piece that I got from Kmart because if I go swimming just at the local swimming pool and just to try and do laps or attempt to try and do laps because I'm not a strong swimmer, I do just put this on. I've also got this brown and gold colored tiger lily bikinis and also a white pair of silk swim. I've also got a blue pair of those silk swim ones except they're currently in the wash because Reese and I went to the Peninsula Hot Springs not too long ago so they'd still be in the wash from that. And while I'm already down here, I think I might just go through my shoes and the socks because this whole tub is full of socks and obviously I do not need all of them. I've got these pair of white boots that I actually do wear quite regularly. They're from Sheen I believe. So I'm definitely keeping those. I've got these black slides from Big W which I wear pretty much on the daily so they are not going anywhere. These black slides as well from Big W. Next pair I have are these shoes right here and these are from Fate Label. They're the therapy shoes and I am keeping those because they are just the cutest shoes ever. These next ones are also from Fate the Label. The same brand therapy. I wear these not too much. I'm definitely not going to get rid of them because I feel like they're good for like a nice semi-casual formal event because they're not too high or anything. So I'm going to be keeping those. Also again from Fate Label. These shoes here which I will be keeping. Next pair I've got are these, I think they're just the normal original Adidas sneakers. Also got the platform Converse All Star shoes. These ones I will be keeping as well. I've got my black, pink and white Puma sneakers. They got a little bit of a platform, but these are actually super, super comfortable. I think I mentioned these when I first got them in a video. They're so comfy and I cannot get rid of these. The next pair, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep. They are these shoes here. They're from Novo. I think they are so incredibly cute except the heels are way too high for me so I think I'm going to not keep these however I'm gonna see if my friend would like them because she has worn them before they're just too uncomfortable for me and I just cannot wear them so those ones I will be putting to, to the side next pair of shoes I've got are uh, the Windsor Smith can't read what type they are but they're just like white platform sneakers with rose gold on the side and on the back I will be keeping those the next pair of shoes I have are these shoes from lipstick they're just a classic I can't get rid of those. Next pair I actually use quite a lot more to go if I'm going out in the city and I don't want to wear a pair of heels because they're, my feet are a bit sore or it's a bit cold so I want something to keep my feet a bit warm. These shoes here they were actually from Kmart and they are the best purchase I think I've ever made in terms of shoes. Then I've also got these, I think I've got these shoes, the brand is called Wildfire but I bought them from Spend Less Shoes. They're just a nice low heel with straps that wrap up your leg. I've got these, I think these are from Betts. There's a very nice low heel light pink shoe. I've also got these black shoes from Novo. I think that that's a good size heel for me. I don't think I should be going any higher but they're just a nice plain black pair of heels that would honestly just go with anything. Now we're getting onto the shoes. Oh what was that? Now we're getting onto the shoes which I think I'm going to have to start getting rid of and be a little bit reasonable with myself. The first pair of shoes that I think I might donate. I'm really sad about it. Oh, do I want to donate them though? Oh. They are these shoes from Novo. The only thing that's putting me off them, I don't, 
I love the look of them. That's why I bought them. However, they're a tall stiletto and this girl just does not wear stilettos very well. She cannot walk in them. So I just don't think I'm going to get any use of there out of those heels. So I'll see one of my friends want them. If not, I'll donate them. Next pair of shoes I have are just some plain docks. So I will be keeping those. The other pair of shoes I think I'm going to have to see my friends want or to donate. So this is the sock situation that I've got. There's obviously so much here. So I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. I think I'm just going to time lapse this bit just to make it a whole lot easier. about all these different pattern socks that I have right at the bottom of all these little kiwi fruits I've got pineapples got little ladybugs socks because it still looks just as full but I definitely got rid of a good amount of socks that I just will not reach for. The only other things that are left over in this corner I'm probably going to be keeping those. So in terms of hats I've got this Bunnings hat, I've got this cute blue Levi's cap, this LA cap and then this New York one. I think I'm actually going to donate this New York one because I never reach for it. If I'm going to reach for any I usually go for this one. And I've just got my giraffe onesie and my little panda hoodie. Okay, so next I'm thinking I'm going to tackle this top shelf. Different shorts, skirts, jeans and then pants. It's kind of just gotten all muddled up. So I think I'm just going to get right on into it. So the stuff right in that corner there that I'm pointing to, that's actually Reese's stuff. I've emptied everything out from the top. So I think I'm going to put everything back up into the crack piles. This is exhausting. So the last thing I need to tackle is all these clothes that are hanging up. So it's a mixture of jumpers, shirts, jackets, you name it, it's there. There is also so much here as well and I have a feeling this video is already going for too long so I think I'll just go through it as quickly as I can and pretty much if you see anything that I'm like chucking down to the ground over here, over this way, that's going to be going in the donating pile. So I'll try not to talk too much because I know sometimes I can ramble on and then these videos just go for a ridiculous amount of time. I know not everyone wants to sit down for a half hour video to watch. So I'll show you my pile of chuck out clothes in just a moment, but I think I'm also going to rearrange how everything's sitting. So at the moment I've got just some random jumpers, a mix of different shirts, skirts, and then jackets, but I think I'm going to kind of switch around the jumpers and move them next to the jackets and then go from jackets, jumpers, dresses, and then shirts. I think that makes a little bit more sense. So I think I'm finally finished. See, I love going through my clothes and clearing stuff out that I just know I will not use because there's obviously so many clothing items and shoes that I'm clearing out and it looks like there's so much there. But then when you look at my wardrobe again, I like, guess it looks a bit more tidy and you can tell I've gotten rid of a few things, but it just doesn't look like I've cleared out as much as I have. And this is taking me hours. Does anyone else feel the same thing when they clear out their wardrobe and it looks like they are getting rid of a whole lot of stuff and then it just doesn't visually look like they've gotten rid of that much? I'll show you my throw out pile and then what we're left with. But this is the bunch of clothes I'm getting rid of. I feel like the camera doesn't show how much there actually is. That's next to the door. Like it is a decent pile. And this is now what my wardrobe looks like. I do have a bunch of coat hangers on the ground now because it's just from all the ones that I got rid of. Yeah, I am so glad with how it has turned out. Alrighty, so I'm going to wrap up this video now because I've been at this for 
hours. <laughs> Even though it has taken me hours to do this video, I'm so glad that I finally done it. And I know Reese would be super happy I've got rid of clothes. Even though, like I said before, it doesn't really look like I've gotten rid of that much. But then when you look at all the clothes on the floor, I've gotten rid of heaps. <laughs> but my friend Haley is actually going to be taking those three heels I was talking about with this two stilettos and the other nude pair because it's her size. She would wear them. She would rock them. My poor feet just cannot handle them. <laughs> because let me know if this has inspired you to clean out your wardrobe and just to donate items that are just sitting in your wardrobe not being loved not being worn because they can be donated to people who would actually really appreciate them so yes I'm so glad I've gotten this done I feel like I've been very productive but it's definitely time to wrap up this video because I feel like it's just been going on for too long and I need to stop talking so if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like as well if you don't already follow me on Instagram you can go follow me as well if you'd like because I do post in there a bit more regularly about about my day-to-day -day life. As always, if you have any suggestions about videos you'd like to see, any kind of ideas, I'm open to anything within reason. <laughs> Pop them down below and I'll have a read. But as always, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.